Hi people, it's Archivist here, and today I wanted to make a small follow-up video to my review on the 2020 13 inch MacBook Pro, and it's in response to a very common sentiment I heard from commenters both on my video but also on other videos reviewing the same device, and that was that they didn't want to purchase the MacBook Pro 13 inch because of the announcement of ARM MacBooks on the horizon. And I wanted to tackle this from two points of view. First of all, what are the good reasons to wait for an ARM MacBook? Well, if we look at the iPad Pro and extrapolate what we're seeing in that device in terms of using an ARM-based chip, we see higher power, high efficiency, and a slightly lower cost because Apple don't have to source the chipset from Intel, they can just do it in-house. And we would expect to get even better results on MacBooks because they have more room to passively cool, more room to up the voltage, so we would expect even more power, maybe even better efficiency, and with MacBook Pros being so expensive that it would be quite nice to see cheaper MacBooks for sure. So there are three, in my mind, main distinctions for that reason that you may want to wait for an ARM MacBook. And indeed, if you have no urgent rush, no particular reason that you need a computer right now, I would indeed give the advice that it might be worth waiting. However, there is this issue, this thing that uh, isn't even unique to this particular time frame, isn't even unique to MacBooks in general, but it's the case of when do you wait and when do you buy? Because in the world of technology, devices are constantly coming out year on year, sometimes even sooner. For example, if you go back to this time last year, if you were looking at getting a 15 inch MacBook Pro, it wouldn't have necessarily been the best time to go for it because we were merely months away from the 16 inch MacBook Pro coming out. And there were loads of rumors indicating we would see the 16 inch MacBook Pro. We didn't know exactly when, but there were loads of suggestions it was coming. And I, at the time, decided I was going to hold off on getting the newer 15-inch MacBook Pro and go for the 16-inch instead. And I was glad that I did that, but you could argue now I could be saying, well, I got one of the last Intel MacBooks, couldn't I have just waited a little bit longer and gone for the ARM one instead, which will no doubt have better cooling, more power, potentially a lot less expensive. But the reality is without the power of foresight, we only have hindsight as humans, um, how can we know this? And also... Is it wrong to buy something if it's outdated in a year, two years? That's something that comes down to personal preference and of course how often you expect to be updating your devices. If you're someone who updates your device every seven years, for example, which is completely possible with MacBooks, then it does make sense to wait for just the right moment. If you upgrade, however, every two years, which is closer to what I try and do, sometimes it's just worth going in when you feel it's right to do it because there will always be something new. You could even say that with these new ARM MacBooks coming out, potentially very shortly, do you necessarily want to go in on the first generation? because it's known not just with Apple, but with many tech manufacturers that the first generation is where they are working out all of the kinks and things that can't really be seen until they expose it to a wide audience, theoretically making the second generation of ARM MacBooks the better one to go for. But that just means we have another situation where we have to wait even longer. And many people might be in situations where they can't afford to wait that unspecified amount of time to get their device. And so sometimes rather than trying to predict the future, wonder what the benefits might be, if it will be cheaper, if it will be more significant, sometimes it's better to make the question a lot more simple. Is the device that is currently available at the moment worth getting? Is it something that's good in its own right, even if inevitably it will become outdated at some point? And with the 13-inch MacBook Pro 2020, the answer is quite simply yes. I'm sure it will be made to be a lot less compelling in as few as four months, maybe three months, maybe two months. But as of right now, this is a good device. And if you buy it and you use it, I'm sure you would agree with me. It's just a matter of not always thinking forward to the next device because there's always going to be a bigger fish. As always, people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.